start. All right, hi everybody. Welcome to uh, the uh, well, I say reaction to the Nintendo Direct. I've already seen it, but Joey has it. <laughs> yeah, and Jesse wants my reaction. Yes, I, I guess. I, oh. I, I, it's 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 an end. Of, it's a it's like the nearing the end of the Switch life cycle. So like. I do expect some gaps to be filled, so at the very least, I want them to put Donkey Kong Country or something a Wii U or Wii related on there that like hasn't been ported up. Just a gap filler. Um, I got a question for you. Do you have any out of left field predictions? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna throw it out here. Every time I see a direct, I'm like, I hope Metroid Prime 4 is announced or showcased at some point. I don't know if that's quite out of left field, though. Everybody's expecting that one every Switch. I mean, I mean, yeah, but like, okay, yeah, no, out of left field. Um, uh, okay. I don't know, uh, a new, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we've gotten a remaster and a remake of an RPG. I'd like a new RPG. Just a whole uh, ass new RPG? Well, like, like from a Nintendo IP of some kind. Like, it could be, uh, it would be interesting, a Zelda RPG. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, Actually. That, 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 that's an out-of-left-field prediction. It's like a Nintendo-based RPG. See, I say this because going into this, my out-of-field left-field prediction, it's kind of weird because it's one of those things where it's like, there were the vaguest, like, 1% of 1% hints that this might be happening because there's been a lot of Easter eggs about it recently. I was thinking of, like, maybe a 3D Donkey Kong game. <laughs> like Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's long overdue to bring one back to that. Yeah, so that was mine when I was going into this. And All right. All right, let's start this. All right, yeah, he's got to pull up on his screen. Let's take it on go, all right? Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, hold on, let me turn this down on my end. Oh, we're starting off quick. Oh, yeah. Interesting art style. Just like... Wonder? Well... I th Is this an RPG? Yeah, I th well... Joey, I think you might be right. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking fire! <laughs> you're like, oh my God. you're like Nintendo RPG, and I'm like, well, I know what the first thing we're gonna see is. <laughs> On Nintendo. This is gonna be a great time. Oh yeah. It, it, it looks like it's console based too, so they're gonna be able to do so much, and I would die for her. So one thing I've noticed from this, uh trailer is that the animations in this game are actually pretty top tier it's kind of hard to show but like just a few spots throughout this there's a lot of good detail in these animations like look at that roll oh, what, I, what i'm notating here is it looks like they took a lot of notes from the kirby 3d game yeah well you also this wonder too awesome. like this looks you mentioned it earlier this looks a lot like wonder <laughs> I mean, they, they did, like, notate, like, Wonder Style Mario is the new style that's going forward, because, like, we had, like, eras of styles. Oh, yeah. We had the, obviously, the original style, 64, and then immediately went to the GameCube style, and that eventually went to the, uh, uh, Galaxy style. It just looks good. Oh, yeah. It looks fun. Uh, that's Fawful. <laughs> oh, my God, Fawful's back. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Uh, could you imagine if we just had a corpse? <laughs> Fawful's corpse. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Fawful can't go as a main... If he's a main villain in this one, he can't be a main villain again. It's too much. Yeah. He he gets one. <laughs> well, he's done it, like, twice now. And then he was a side villain once. I'm sorry, brother ship? Not a word. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about, like, the gameplay and the combat, it looks very similar to the first one. It seems very toned down like the first one. 
and I kind of appreciate that as a return to form because whoever's making this is not the original group of people. This is a new group I of mean, people. We were talking about the belly aching aspect. Like you were getting frustrated with some of the old RPGs turning into action games. I'm like, they'll bring out new RPGs, and this is a perfect example. Oh yeah, they bring out new ones all the time. What? Wait, what? Why? What? Did people care when this happened? Yeah, actually, a lot of people like this. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's interesting. It, it it can't be the same as the one they released though, because there wasn't that much to do. I mean, one thing I've noticed is that this one seems to be like trying to train you to do speed runs, <laughs> which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, uh, I don't like that Nintendo is only okay with competitive gaming when they're in control of it. Yeah, it is a bit scummy. Classified, Jesse. The internet is not a thing yet. This is 1995. <laughs> See, I don't know if I'd appreciate my ghost data being used to compete against other people. I'm gonna be so paranoid about that. Be like, am I doing good? Am I being embarrassed in front of everybody? <laughs> To be fair, they do that in the majority of games that have any type of racing aspect to them that Nintendo makes. Yeah, but usually you have to intentionally do that. I don't know about this game. <laughs> also, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> this hold one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Please be a sequel. Fuck yeah! Dude, that first RPG actually went pretty hard. Like, for a turn-based RPG that's six gigs, it did a lot. Yeah, I knew you'd be excited about this one, too. Because I know you were ta talking up the first game for a while. <laughs> like, anime games are, are a dime a dozen when they're good. But, like, you know what is it hard to get? Good anime games that are Dragon Ball Z games. <laughs> And Fairy Tales made their first two bo dynamite ones now. So, like, I'm totally here. What the fuck? Oh, is this the new Atlas game? No, what the fuck? What is this? Yeah, this is from the Final Fantasy guys. This looks like Bravely Default. I mean, it kind of is if you think about it. <laughs> they're like big, big, like they're taller, but it's very default. Wow, that's a design choice. Vincent, is that you? <laughs> I mean, Vincent's the cousin. <laughs> Vincent's edgier and less cool cousin. <laughs> I kind of like the. I like that. I kind of think that's cool. Oh yeah. You also don't get random what? encounters so much as you get random encounters you store and unleash. Okay, that's kind of dope, too. I'm, I'm here for those. Okay, you've got my attention. Instead of getting harassed why by... I, oh. Why do I need these voice boxes if they're just saying the words in English? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I, I'd play it. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty down for it. I mean, Harvestella was a sleeper hitting my mind, too. Hey, everybody's this favorite sports free. game. Better, it better fucking be free. <laughs> they make this shit DLC based. I'm gonna kick their ass. Yeah, it's fucking right. It's free. That looks pretty fun. Uh, I don't know. From what I, I haven't played this game before, but like here, it's not very fun. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you go back to Wii Sports, it's not very fun either. If you compare it, but like. The game plays exactly the same if you look at how he's playing it. Nah, I it's don't exactly know. Exactly the fucking same. It plays, look, look at it. It plays exactly the fucking same. People are just bitchy because they're like, I wish I was a child again. Yeah. But like, what it turns out is this is just a really fun game to play with a kid. That's what Wii Sports was. That's why it did so well. That's good that that's free. Okay. 
just a little guy. Oh shit. Just a little guy. <laughs> this fucking fury shit. It does kind of look like fury, don't it? <laughs> Give me a vibe of it. If fury fucked Ori, but like, I hate fuck because the creator of Ori and the Blind Forest is a piece of garbage. Yeah. That looks pretty. That looks interesting. Uh, indie Those platformer with a there. really nice art style and vibe. Uh, never yeah, I mean, like the vibe is like haunting as opposed to like pleasant. Yeah, I've never seen a haunting artistic platformer <laughs> from indie games. I mean, <laughs> not. like it's how you do it that makes it different, right? <laughs> Hey, look, an artistic platformer. <laughs> I mean, I prefer artistic platformers to just basic bench ones. That's crazy. true. <laughs> That's why Mario Wonder was so good. It was slightly more artsy than the other ones. <laughs> I mean, that's true. The reason Mario 3D World was good was because of cats. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's an entirely different... Speaking of cats... Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Is this a... It's the meme! They made the meme! They did! Also, Joey, that's the third time you predicted something just before it happened. <laughs> you said cats? Hello Kitty on screen. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. <laughs> you are on point. <laughs> it looks like a... A little bit like Animal Crossing. Yeah! That's dope. Good for Hello Kitty. That's I also just saw good. Gretz ago, and I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, look. What the f Has it been like 20 or 30 years since they've made a game about Space Jam? <laughs> I mean, redemption arcs take a while sometimes, I guess. You're just hoping it doesn't suck. If it sucks after 30 years, it'll never be good. This isn't Space Jam, though. It's, it's just sports. <laughs> I know. No, it's, that's, let's be honest, it's me. I can't wait till the that LeBron DLC drops. Awful. Dude, that art looks awful, though. Let me just say. It, it looks, looks good awful. when they're standing still. It's when they move them. Like, <laughs> I know. Isn't it awful that, like, moving is a part of sports? <laughs> I know. Uh, so Among Us, get all those kitties watching the direct. <laughs> I mean, it is a good game. It's just uh, this game has gone way further than I ever thought it would. It's gotten way further than it ever should. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh. Felici died. Oh, monsters look dope. For me, yeah. Sorry, I, when I saw For Me, yeah, I took physical damage because I thought it was such a stupid fucking name. <laughs> Farmagia. Farmagia. How are you, you idiot? Oh my god, it's Pikmin! Yeah, it's Pikmin meets Rune meets Factory. Food. Rune Factory, it's Rune Factory. <laughs> I mean, eh. Pikmin already is a combat style. I mean, I'm here for it. Yeah. I always thought Pikmin had a lot of potential to actually have com good combat, but they just never did it. You still haven't played Wonderful 101 yet, have you? <laughs> yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Well, I there think you go. for 101 is solid, but like it's not quite where I would want it to be yet. <laughs> mag, 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 mag. Everything's mag. See, it's not Magia, it's Magia, and that pisses me off. <laughs> oh, fucking, yeah. Okay. Yeah. DK Country Returns. Oh, yeah. You also called that one earlier, too, so that's four. Four for four. I, was, I, was, I, mean, I mean, I knew that they did, like, I was hoping they'd fill this gap at some point because it's like every other major game on the Wii U and Wii have been brought over. They already had the was, Frozen one, the sequel to this, so. <laughs> well, yeah, they took Tropical Freeze and they've had it on there for like seven, eight years now, but like this is the one that made sure that DK wasn't a dead series. And this game is legit very good. Does this one get Funky Kong mode? <laughs> Add Funky uh, Kong no, mode? No, you you get uh, the white uh, fur uh, for 
Uh, God mode. So if you suck. Ah. Yeah, so a good choice. Get the 3DS version too. Yeah, that's that's a good choice they made. That was what I was mad about. Uh, Persona 5 uh, Reload. I love the game. It's phenomenal. It was worth the money. Man, oh man, it would have been great if they included the FBF inclusion and the female pro tag. is nay it's a bird I thought it was a horse with that whole day thing really <laughs> that's right oh, Dragon Quest it's about fucking time they've been talking about this forever Dragon Quest 3 remake yeah yeah it's dope what fucking time oh that is very pretty Nice and vibrant. That is, I, I like that they took some a lot of elements from like Octopath Traveler for this. Octopath Traveler really did change the game. In vi terms of visuals. In terms of visuals, but like on the best type of side. There's oh, way yeah. more details in 2D games now because of them. Oh, that battle seat screen looks pretty good too, actually. Dude, look at that motion. Smooth. Yeah, the animation's pretty smooth. I don't like that new frame phrase. It's too much. <laughs> I saw a lot of people making fun of that exact frame on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a mouthful, man. For no reason. Just say HD. Or 2D. One or the other. But, you know, like, well, now we have to differentiate HD 3D. It's like, fuck off. Mm. Yeah, it's the most famous one from what I recall. Yeah, this is the one where Dragon Quest really became Dragon Quest as we know it. Yeah. Kind of similar to how Final Fantasy 3 really started to form what, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're playing more music, okay. Well, of what course, it's Dragon Quest. They'll never stop playing the music. <laughs> oh, they're remaking one and two. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good choice. The first game, there's like it would look pretty, but it wouldn't be all that long. So one and two coming into 2025. Good. Hey, yo, that man's hair needs some help. He's going for that slime look to go with the Dragon Quest. <laughs> I used the bowl to cut my hair this morning. <laughs> Very uneven bowl. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he he needs a haircut, that's for sure. I can't see anything else but that damn hair. <laughs> I can't understand a word he's saying because the subtitles aren't over his hair. <laughs> well, my 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 hope in the future for Dragon Quest is they make more side content because like these are great and all, and Monsters is great and all, but like you know what I think it ain't another game, a Warriors game. I think they need another of those Minecraft ripoffs. I want another rocket slime, motherfuckers. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope. But you know what we're gonna get? A new slime controller. Ah! Okay, I remember the first trailer of this being violent as hell. Way back. I mean, I'm sure it is. But this trailer is being the Nintendo one is like, yep, yeah, it does not look violent. I just remember the first one being like blood and guts and stuff. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> this could be fun. It could. I'm going to stare from the distance. Wait, you don't want to play as Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> I mean, <it> depends. <laughs> I mean, it just looks just to like. Be fair. This, this, oh, this coming out the gate is already the biggest crossover of all time. <laughs> like, this somehow on release beat out Fortnite, which is 
almost unheard of. And kind of funny. <laughs> Very funny. That was like their whole brand. Spooky, silly, and strategic. Oh, it's Luigi's Mansion too. Yeah. Where's the first one, you bitches? On the DS, 3DS. Yeah, you can't buy it on there anymore. Get the trilogy on here, you fuck nuggets. God damn it. Be brave and give me my baby capture. <laughs> I don't like the ghost designs in this one. I don't either. They have surprisingly no personality. No, yeah, that, that was a big reason why the first one was so good is because the ghosts were so, like, personable. What the f- these are fugly as shit. Dude, fugly as hell. No. So, someone described this game to me because they had the first one. This is like, uh, Pokemon Go, but for the 3DS. And that was what the first game was. And that's what this game is looking like it's supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Bad. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This game's like really cheap. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah. I saw this one on the store last night and I was like, wow, oh, a new Metal Slug game. Yeah, 10 bucks. Uh, I think this is a mobile game that got ported. I mean, it looks fun. I mean, as long as it doesn't have the mobile game bullshit in it, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's $10. It's worth 10 bucks. 10 bucks is 10 bucks, you know? Yeah, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Ah, oh, yeah, that's why I saw it. I'm surprised it took this long to get on the Switch, honestly. <laughs> you, know, you know what's even funnier about this whole fucking bullshit? They're just <laughs> remastering the first one, too, and I'm like, just make a third one, you dumb bitches! Like, this is way too late to the party, I'm gonna be honest. A hundred percent. Oh, mine's loading. Give it a sec. No, oh, hold on. Alright, I'll go right to the end of the target. Okay, target. okay. Alright, I'm on tw 2016. I'm, right. <laughs> I'm on 26, uh, 2016. Alright, let's start it again in 3, 2, 1, go. Hold on, hold on. I had to catch up because I guess my finger tapped it. I didn't okay. see anything, but like. Okay, 2016. 2016! Right. I'm here, I'm here. Alright, let's start. Ooh, online experience. Three, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Let's see what they dropped this time. They dropped all those Mega Man games. That was pretty dope. Look at that! Four swords! What? Without the bullshit. Mind. Yeah, about this. This is the proper way to. This is what I've been saying. Is I'm like, just put it onto the fucking switch. This is dope, but it also trivializes the extra ability to be able to play Metroid on it, because like you just play Metroid. I'm so mature, 17 oh. plus. That time. Again, a little late uh, to the party, but. Eh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I already own, I already grabbed the Turok remasters, man. I'm good. Oh, perfect duck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. They're making a new one. That's going to be dope online. Yeah. It's already ready to go. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest with you. This is this is a pretty beefy. Yeah. What uh, is that voice? <laughs> it's this guy. Uh. <laughs> it's basically. Of course, it's fucking this guy. Uh. Okay, it's not actually this guy, but it's the people who make this guy. <laughs> Dude, that fucking voice is awful, and I hate Phantom it. Phantom Brave, there we go, that's what it was called. Yeah, it's by the people who make uh, this guy. <laughs> You'll even see I mean, some- they can make a good game, it's just like- Oh, they make great games, it's just, oof. <laughs> can I they be rough? Slowdown. Uh, did you see the slowdown I saw on that last stage they were on? <laughs> no. They had some slowdown. 
But I mean, look at it. It's a turn-based strategy game. How can, I it's mean, just a sky. <laughs> I know. How is there? How are they getting slowed out? Ugh. Anyways, so yeah, d uh, new Disgaea uh, game j drops. Forget I mean, what it's actually called. It's just, just Disgaea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just Disgaea. <laughs> Wait, wait. Yep, yeah, there we go. I was waiting for that wait, one. <laughs> wait. 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 No way. No way. Yeah, you get the arcade versions too. Oh. How many games? How many games? How many games? How many games? How many fucking games? Dude, the Punisher game is in this? One, two, Holy three, four, five, day six, one, seven. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. Their collections go so fast. Also, look hard. at that! <laughs> you get hitbox uh, data. Oh, that's what they did in, in Skullgirls, and it was genius. Like, this ain't no half ass. They didn't half ass this. <laughs> I mean, they, their beat em up bundle was also fucking great. I've been waiting for something like this to come out. Oh. oh. You know, some of those are still locked on a, on a PS1 and Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Sometime this year. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Joey! Yeah, guess what else you predicted? <laughs> Mario Party? Yeah, it just said Mario Party. He, he, he literally, before this, he's like, you know, I want to buy a Mario Party. I'm like, oh, you want to buy a Mario Party, do you? <laughs> guess what? No. <laughs> Mario Party. What? Well, they burned us before, so let's wait and see how it does. This actually looks we really good, though. I know, but we don't want to buy it and, and end up in a car. Well, there might be a car in a few seconds. <laughs> Jesse, I don't think that we should get this one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I, I can be hurt again. See, cars, Joey. I mean, that's not what I mean. Yeah, I know. It's not what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I like that island, it's pretty dope. Uh, I like that fucking Goomba is actually just a Groudon. Explode. Did that thing just jizz out Goombas? That's weird. Also, seven boards? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. I mean, they probably learned from Super, because Super Mario Party fucking blew in chunks. Super was bad them trying bad. to get back, the thing back, and then they, uh, did the remake one that was really good well you know what didn't get us back changing almost all the fundamental aspects of the games oh yeah also 110 <laughs> mini games and look at this battle royale mario party <laughs> that could work that also could be awful it could be but well it could be really amazing that's true I, I, as I said, that Mario parties at this point have had more bad than good. It's better to wait and watch. I think they've had more good than bad, but... <laughs> Very untrue. Everything after six was terrible. Guys, uh, for audience members, you gotta know, Joey is a, like a hardliner when it comes to Mario Party. <laughs> Everything after six was pretty rough. I love seven. <laughs> seven was pretty rough. I'm sorry, buddy. See, he doesn't even like Seven, and everybody I know loves Seven. <laughs> I know, but like, here, you, it's like, that one's built for our generation, because that's when it came out, so like... I do not think it's nearly as bad as Eight or Nine, though. Just to, just to give you that. Awesome look, Joey! What the fuck? Is, is out again? Yeah! That's cute. Oh, they're bringing back the old snow! Is this the end of A Link to the Past? I think this is the end of A Link to the Past. Yeah, the end of A Link to the Past. Yeah. Okay, take him out. All right, what's going on? What's the, is there like an alternate boss that comes out that like puts us on a new... Oh, the spear's still there. What the... Yeah. Zelda? Zelda playable? Dude, tell me she turns into Sheik and just starts wrecking. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, where she just goes around snapping necks from behind. <laughs> Dude, Legend of Zelda solid. 
<laughs> no, no, it's the Legend of Link, right? I, 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 like, I, I knew. I it wish it was Legend of Link. of Link. Good God, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I mean, Legend of Link: Echoes of Wisdom would make more sense because it's not a mainline game, and they could act like it is. But Zelda's a playable character; it's not a mainline game. Rule of thumb. Okay. Can you command your troops in this game? That's a big thing, because you're a princess. And I, if, if, if she is playable, and like everything isn't gone to shit, I expect to be able to have some kingdom management. <laughs> Otherwise, why the fuck am I a princess, right? Yeah, this is like the past world and everything. That was a that was a good choice. Uh, it's a very recognizable world for a majority of Zelda gamers these days. Because you have the ones who originally played it. I would die for him. Um, he is adorable. And then you have, uh, and then uh, you have the people who played uh, uh, Link Between Worlds. So like you have you have multiple generations of people playing games in this world. That makes sense. Oh hold on, Joey. We get into the gameplay here. Oh that's that's, that's interesting. That could be cool. Yeah. Good for puzzles. And it, it fills in that gap that like Link's hammer space. She obviously wouldn't be using that. Magic would fill the gap. So yeah, you just grab stuff and use them. This looks pretty cool, actually. Wow, you can do it with things that aren't solid. And things that have weight, that's really, really cool. You stack them in weird ways? That does look pretty fun. Did they stick around? That's curious. Okay, that, that sounds like it would be tedious. There you go, there's your commanding it's, it's minions. Just, it's, this is Bait and Kaidos. Okay, <laughs> this is just Bait and Kaidos. <laughs> this is Bait and Kaidos. That's, that's cool. It's Bait and Kaidos. I'm gonna be honest, commanding the monsters like this is something I would want from a Gandorf game. <laughs> uh, no, because Gandorf would go out there and beat people up himself and then just fill <laughs> up dungeons. <laughs> Fair enough. Man will go out there and then, like, run away. I don't like how she's wearing the hoodie the whole time, though. It's kind of like, eh, she don't look like Zelda like that. What's, what's weird to me is, like, the Deku Tree from Ocarina is in this. Okay, so we have an idea of some of what her power can do. Because we don't really get a definition of the Triforce of Wisdom's ability other than silver slash holy arrows. Speaking of which, you think we're ever going to get holy slash arrows <laughs> I would be pissed if we didn't because it just makes sense for it to be one of her major weapons like that should be her master sword <laughs> just big holy what arrows that just makes sense that's it's always been her final weapon that's true I'm into it. Heck yeah. Yeah, no dance game. I mean, these games are always pretty well good quality, so I'm not going to shit on them. Yeah, these like, are not so. bad games. These are good, good games. Yeah, like, these are the evolution of what DDR started out as. You got to give them credit. So where's the Wii port? I know the Wii port's there somewhere. Yeah, is the Wii still alive thanks to these I games? Mean, dude, the last one they got, from what I recall, was the 2024 version. I, it's still hilarious knowing that the Wii is not a dead system. <laughs> it's it, it just holding on by life support. <laughs> by the power, through the power of dance. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, dude they, they just won't let it die. It needs to die, but they won't let it. 
I don't like that. I think that's dumb. Sorry, what? Uh, the, they have a Just Dance Plus thing. The same <laughs> shit that GTA does. I hate that shit. <laughs> this... I don't know why they chose this at all things. I don't... Like, there are better ones to make one off of that make more sense. Resident Zero Dawn does not seem like the right attitude for a LEGO game, I'm gonna be honest. Well, like, like, and, and the gameplay, you're taking away a lot of that unique, interesting gameplay to make it into this. But if they're using it as a vehicle to make the games come out on everything else, the main games, okay. But I don't think that's what they're doing. Yeah, this looks pretty... This looks like it's for four kids. Like, this does not look like I would play it. But you get to make a roller coaster. What do you mean it's for kids? <laughs> damn fucking Hello Kitty New Horizons. Oh, but you two player co op? <laughs> Sorry, this does not look like a Horizons game at all. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, two player co op, literally every single Lego game. Three's finally coming to Switch. Dope. Dope, dope. So I saw a lot of people complaining. Oh, I'm not. Hold on. I'll wait a sec. See if you notice. does not look very good exactly yeah you do notice <laughs> yeah you get to see the switch is great great uh graphical power on this one <laughs> i mean a great cat venture is uh if, if you want a switch game version like this they have that game that doesn't rely on such graphical fidelity as this but yeah this one is suffering i'm gonna be honest this might have been a good switch 2 game to show off the graphics <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're always behind by one generation. You know, it's a game that looks fantastic on other systems. <laughs> yeah. Would be great. Right, moving on from Stray, yeah. what's next? What the fuck? Oh, you don't remember this one? <laughs> this was in the last direct. <laughs> no, no, I don't remember this one. Tales of the Shire. What do you do? Is it just The Sims? Oh my god, tell me it's The Sims. <laughs> it's The Sims. That man looks like a dwarf and you can't convince me otherwise. Well, yeah, he's. Look how much tall he is than everyone. He's definitely a dwarf. Why is he in the Shire? I don't know. Hobbits are famously pretty racist. I really. It's horrible to say, but I really want Saruman to invade the place at, at, at the end of the game. <laughs> That's <laughs> nonsense. The scouring of the Shire doesn't happen at this point. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> because I know exactly when the scouring happens, Jesse. It's a Lord of the Rings game. It happens during the Lord of the Rings. But unless the Saxville Bagginses are there, we can't say that. How do you know they're not? <laughs> the game opens with Frodo leaving, and you're like, bye, Frodo, anyways, about my heart, my fruit. <laughs> or well, I can tell you this. It takes Frodo at least, like, 40 years to get to the Mount Doom. So oh, well, you know. <laughs> That's a Miles Edgeworth. We need to get back on our Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty fun. Uh, finish up the... We were still on the first game, I believe, right? Yep. We were like two trials in. Ugh. I mean, it was just one of those things where I moved right as we were getting to the crux of it. But that was a fun last play. There's also a lot of talking. It's hard. It's hard on some some pe uh, people who aren't used to it. <laughs> it's me, Shadow the Head. I mean, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> he is definitely I also the can point my finger. <laughs> Hello, I am Anime Waifu number two. Hello, I am Anime Husbando number five. 
Don't tell them the truth. January 6th, version 2 electric boogaloo. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? In what world is that scary? That motherfucker looks like a mascot. I'm handing my wife for number two, no! <laughs> Now we have to go get anime waifu number three. By the way, this is Dongarapa, oh people. Dude, dude, Jesse, I thought that the guy talking was that thing. <laughs> this is Dongarapa, by the way, basically. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not a huge fan of Dongarapa, honestly. It's the same people, but it's a tower defense. Yeah, <laughs> tower defense Dongarapa. That's not a good choice. <laughs> defense is, this better sell for like 25 or 30 bucks at most. It better not be more than that. You cannot sell a tower defense game for $60 and expect me to be okay with it. <laughs> That's a confusing title showcase there. Oh, the saga game! Fuck! Yeah! They're giving a lot of love to this! Holy shit! Vance and Saga 2! Dope as fuck! You can be a monster in this game. This is an actual- holy shit, this is an actual RPG. I'm here for this. If you want to test Jesse, this game is one of the hardest RPGs I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's good. I do like card RPGs. Yeah, like, if I'm talking turn-based games, this one, you can encounter the final boss on accident in the first mission. So, like, you can... Like, this game also allows you to soft-block yourself. That's good. Well, you're talking about the first game. I, we don't know about this game. No, the second one. Wait, is this a remake? Here's a remake of the second game. Oh my god. This is dope as fuck. I'm really glad about Romancing Saga getting so much love, man. Yeah, I haven't actually... time the series got this much love. That's good. Of the big three, this one's always been the least known of, like, this Final Fantasy and, Dra and Dragon Quest. I like how this saga looks like salsa. Salsa. <laughs> Romancing salsa. Alright, what do you think is gonna be at the end? Better fucking be Metroid. Or I'm gonna be mad. Metroid or, or Smash? Okay, Metroid. About fucking yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it's Metroid! <laughs> I told you it was the easiest prediction. <laughs> About fucking time. <laughs> At least give me a title. Like, you show me all the stuff you want. Give me a title. It looks good. It looks like Metro. It looks like Prime. I don't know if I like the chorus in that. That looks like Prime. Good. God, could you imagine if they didn't drop a Prime game if this was a totally different Metroid? <laughs> I would be pretty upset right now if I'm being honest. Also, so the scanning cool. visor's back. Good, I can't wait to spend 75% of the game with it on. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, 3 was only a lower tier game because they took out elements. If they kept everything and added the few things they added, it would have been just fine. Uh, also, I think it was a good idea that they got rid of the uh, ammo counter because that hindered the running gun play of this game. That's what the Metro is back. His brother, Purple Samus. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Metro Prime Four Beyond. We got a name. It's also purple. <laughs> Yeah, it is very pretty. In fact. No longer will we have to deal with blue goo. Now we shall deal with the purple goo! Hold up, hold up, hold up. one sec, I gotta listen. Hey, yo, that's just Fedora Drifts. Yeah. Guys, make a new song, come on, it's great, but like, yeah? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Is that everything they're showcasing? That was a pretty... That was a pretty beefy direct, actually. Yeah, it was pretty good. The Switch has some life in it. Remember that the Switch 2 kind of got leaked ahead before they were ready, so they probably have a lot more time on it before it's actually like, the Switch is dead. <laughs> a lot of people are like, the Switch right. is dead. <laughs> but no, it's like, no, there's well, probably some more time on it. <laughs> I have a couple of thoughts. And my main one is this. Uh, oh, no. Namely, no. I, I think... Uh, I think the biggest thing that we're gonna get out of all of this is Mario RPG players are eating good. Oh yeah. Well, first we had you know Mario RPG, then we got Thousand Year Door, now we got a new Mario and Luigi. <laughs> well, we've had a remake, a remaster, and a new game. You've had all three of the things. Yeah. In the past like, year. Um, and I mentioned and it earlier with the Mario and Luigi. You know, this is probably a new company making it. Uh, you know, when we saw uh, Paper Mario gets transferred to a new company, they basically try to rewrite everything, and then it sucked. <laughs> That's how we got Sticker Star. And then uh, when Mario Party got transferred to a new company, they tried to rewrite everything, and it sucked, and that was Mario Party 9 and 10. <laughs> um, and 8 and 7. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> Eight and seven were for the original group, so that doesn't count. Hold on. But, uh, I know, but they were the worst things they did. Anyways, hold on. Let me finish my point. And, but this Mario and Luigi seems like it's more getting down to brass tacks. Like, it's just like, this is the first game, and we're doing the first game again, just to kind of get used to the series before, as a new group. Well, they re like, don't forget, they actually did remake Superstar Saga. That's true. But that was more. Like, I don't think this, that upside. was this group. I don't know if it was this crew that did that. <laughs> no, look into it real quick, because like it might explain why they're like, okay, I think we're ready to do uh, seven stars now. Uh, actually, does he even like, say who's making it? Kind of, I don't think so, but I'm sure you can look it up and it'll say who dabbed it. But like a big thing for me is like. Mario RPG was one that you had to prep to make sure you did it right on a re because otherwise you were like it's one of the most prolific RPGs not just Mario RPGs like Thousand Year or Paper or any of those or, or Superstar it's that RPG where it like was a genre defining game like it made a new style and everything so like if they fuck that up they'll never have that trust back there's no hope I'm, well, it's kind of like Final Fantasy VII Remake is extremely fun. And it doesn't pretend like it's trying to just be a, a full-on re, uh, redo of what already came. It's doing something new because it knows, like, let's be real, Final Fantasy VII story is one of the most spoiled things in all of video game history. <laughs> also, they had to do something different. Otherwise, their, their twist is not a twist. It's just an expectation. And it loses a lot of that power. Um, and they did, and it, it's really good. It's like, it's been really hard to follow, which is what I want from a game that's about a multiverse. I shouldn't be able to follow something that the main character is having trouble following. <laughs> that, that's my perspective, is if I am in the boots of Cloud, and he is having trouble recognizing reality, I should have trouble as well. And the same uh, is, is with this, is they did a good job with it, even though it changed styles, obviously. Uh, so their trust is still there. Mario RPG is the same thing. I think that this has built up this trust for people to make more RPGs from, from a Nintendo. I think the remake of Superstar Saga did good enough that they're like, okay, I'm willing to try it, you know? I think uh, Paper Mario on the the Switch Online did good enough because it did good uh, in terms of plays um, that people are like, I want to try this uh, again. So all, all in all, I think it's been a net win for uh, mainly RPG players of Nintendo IPs. You know, I would ask like five years. Sorry, this is a bit of a non sequitur, but you know, I don't have very much time, so I have to get this thought out. Um, right. 
I was looking at the Hobbit game, right? Yes. That game is about to get destroyed by the Halo Kitty game. <laughs> oh my Hello Kitty game already looks like it's more polished. And you know it's Hello Kitty. Some people are really obsessed with the Hello with the Sanrio characters. <laughs> oh, they exceptionally are. There's a reason Hello Kitty is still considered one of the biggest IPs in Japan. Well, it's, so, yeah, I think it's the third the biggest in the no, it's the second biggest after Pokemon. The second biggest so, like, in the world. <laughs> So, like, notate that real quick, is, like, even if it wasn't an Animal Crossing copy, which, like, girls already like Hello Kitty, Animal Crossing is another big thing they like. Oh, there are guys <laughs> obsessed with... You gotta understand, Sanrio is more than just Hello Kitty. There's a lot to it. <laughs> well, well, hold on, because, like, I was going to deviate and notate, like, look at Dream Light Valor. Oh, yeah. Major, major, like, like... A lot of guys play it too, but like they drop off. But these are games that are like for life games for like young ladies. Like that that's the market and it, it definitely goes towards that. Meanwhile, uh, Tales of the Shower is just for people who like a very specific part of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you know what? The last time they did a Hobbit game it didn't do well. I hope this one isn't that. <laughs> Because it's been over 20 years since the last Hobbit game, and God, that was bad. I could see the Hobbit game kind of boring, like the loop of uh, grab stuff from uh, the Shire, make food, yeah. that's it. I, agree. <laughs> I, I see that loop I'm getting really old real quick, which is why I, I want Saruman to burn the place down at the end. <laughs> a good idea for like a Lord of the Rings thing to do would be to migrate the Lord of the Rings online to a new engine and build everything back up from there and then release it on Twitter. That'd be cool. I mean, everybody would want it because it's still one of the more popular online RP, uh, MMOs. Shit, uh, man, they could just get into some of those books that haven't been adapted into movies and make games yeah. off of those. Oh my god, dude, give me something about the first or second age. We have literally nothing except for the third age in video games. Why? Like, let's get some weird shit down, you know? <laughs> Dude, let me fight fucking Morgoth. Let me fight some gods. Let me throw some Balrogs on the battlefield. Yo, know, people keep telling me Gandalf's a demigod. Let's see him do some demigod-ass shit. I know he did it in the past. Uh, I, well, mm, when Gandalf came down at, uh, to the elves' land, like, even their land, he lost a lot of his power. But, like, when they were initially in the Halls of Songs... They did, but it was it was actually pretty m mitigatable. Like the only one who ever uses their powers that when they get to and this is kind of lame, honestly. Down to Middle Earth are the bad guys. <laughs> so like Sauron, Morgoth, uh, Saruman. Uh, those are the three uh, of the Ainur and or the Maiar, sorry, that uh, actually use their demigod powers and Gandalf ha it has the capacity so does Radagast and so do the uh, other two uh, blue wizards that you know what tell give us a video game about the blue, blue guys and what happened to them <laughs> you know what that, yeah actually because they're over in the eastern wind land and we don't know but fuck all about that place other than the fact that did you know it was originally those two and Saruman that went there and then Saruman came back alone I'm like huh Oh, that'd be an interesting story. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> yeah. The Easterlings are like down to clown with him, and I'm like, what? What the fuck, buddy? What's going on? Yeah, no, that would be an interesting story. Yo, uh, get, obviously, get, get some Sauron stories in them. general would be pretty good. In terms of like third age, he doesn't have a personality other than the big evil guy. <laughs> All of his personalities in the or. or older ages <laughs> I mean that's a majority of like a lot of the intrigue and, and tragedy a majority of the tragedy is locked in the first and second age. and that's why it'd be good um, <laughs> no instead true. we're getting hobby game <laughs> it's true I mean I mean Rivendell wasn't Rivendell initially Rivendell is just where the, the elves from a, an actual large city were backed into when uh, Morgoth's army had locked them down and they're just the survivors of a massacre. That's super interesting. 
And a major reason why elves hate dwarves is because of this, because the dwarves were right next door and chose to lock their fucking hole up. And you know let what? Die. If we're stuck in the Third Ages, remake Battle for Middle Earth, goddammit. <laughs> God. That would be a nice one. Or try to remake Third Age because the concept is interesting. Well, uh, which what, what was that RPG we that was really good too? Third Age was the RPG. Was it Third Age? Okay, yeah. It was either that or War in the North. That that one where you play as the backup <laughs> adventure party following the other one. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, age, yeah. yeah, that was hilarious. That was kind of funny in concept. Honestly, dude, you, you you just go on top of the tower and fight an eye. <laughs> yeah, it was hysterical. Hey, why did uh, Gandalf uh, survive the Balrog? Cause some random guy showed up and helped him. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, I know. We all killed the Balrog together and we <laughs> high fived and had tacos. It was great, man. <laughs> Dude, it's still the funniest thing ever. Like, you're walking over the Pelennor fields, and you're fighting, like, Mumakil and, like, the elephant monsters. Uh, and, like, you take, like, three out, and those are the bosses. And then, like, they just transport you to Bonador, and you fight fucking Sauron's eye. <laughs> then the game's just over, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Uh, you see, the reason why Sauron's eye couldn't find Frodo is because we stabbed it several times. <laughs> Dude, you know what? That is the funniest headcanon in the entire extended lore. Like, fuck Shadow of War and its interesting story of, be of holding off fucking Sauron. Dude, <laughs> fucking stab it to death with a group of butt fucking random people. Do you know how many times the main group almost died but didn't because these fuckers that were messing around in the background? Yeah, <laughs> he woke it up for just long enough and he's like, nope. Oh, and then there was the like side mode where you got to play as the bosses and fought the party. Oh my God, that was so that funny. Was dope. That, <laughs> was, that was very fun, especially since playing as Sauron is just fear, 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 fear. Uh. uh also, I love how we killed Grima Wormtongue. Yes, yeah. nice. we did it. Anyways, I think we gotta wrap this up. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> yep, that was a good episode. It was. So I hope y'all had fun. Bye. Night, folks. <laughs>